It is a huge safety issue. Runs away from us. It's disgusting. Things have been a little hard. Squeeze. Some people's brains are different. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Not sure how I left off the vlog last time, but I went to Melbourne. If you haven't seen the vlog, I'll put it up here. A fantastic trip and so much good things to see from that vlog. Just got back and we've gotten a lot of um, packages, things that have arrived, and I wanna show you guys one important one that we've been waiting for for a while. What's in the box? I am such an awkward person. <laughs> Actually, when I met um, some of you guys in Melbourne, a lot of you mentioned that I am a lot more shy than I am on camera, I guess. In social settings, I am awkward. I, <laughs> I do have social anxiety, so I am not as confident as I am talking to a camera and talking to people in real life. So that was interesting that people think that I am more confident than I am. Um, it's just so much easier to talk to a camera. As you may or may not know, my son Jacob is autistic. He's five years old and he runs away from us while we're in public. He runs, he absconds, he elopes, whatever you like to call it. It is a serious situation. I, I'm smiling because I'm awkward. It is a huge safety issue and I know a lot of you guys experience the same thing. What also happens while we're in public is Jacob gets very overwhelmed, sensory stimuli, and he either wants to be picked up and held or he wants to be in a pram. Now his pram, he's five years old now, so he is outgrowing his pram. He is too big for it and he's also getting really heavy so he is going to be doing damage to our backs by us holding him while we're in public so i asked you guys what do you do um, what products do you use and we actually went with jacob's occupational therapist's recommendation to get this this isn't sponsored or anything i just wanted to show it to you guys because i was talking to you guys about it i was talking about safety in the in public this couldn't have come at a better time because I have very big anxieties around taking both of my kids out at the same time and this is going to be such a good tool for that. I'm going to open it up quickly and show you, but it is a stroller. It is from Big W, I believe. We ordered it. We got it covered by NDIS. If you guys want that pathway, go talk to your occupational therapists. Let's open it. This would could be a little bit more simpler than it actually is, so we are going to go away and put it together and then I'll be back. Look at this fancy thing. Called the McLaren Major Elite. Again, not sponsored whatsoever, but um, we got it NDIS funded. I'm gonna wait till he gets home and show it to him and show you guys, um, but he's at school at the moment. But this looks really comfy and I think he's gonna love it. So much more comfier than his last one <laughs> this has like comfy little sides here it's really it's got a little basket down the bottom for things the shade this he loves i think he, it's got so much space in there as well um, it does have little um seat belt covers but jacob doesn't like those ones so i didn't put them on it looks super easy to use disgusting thing you've ever seen but he's absolutely refusing me to take it off him. Got the dish sponge, very sensory. He's not been too good this morning so I'm gonna let him do it. I know, it's gross. 
Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day of me not finishing the last vlog. <laughs> so pretty much things got crazy and you guys understand, but I just couldn't finish the vlog. Um, continue the vlog the day that we went out with the pram. Things have been a little harder than usual and I think you guys can tell by the lack of me posting. Um, I'm over on Instagram a lot more frequently. So if you want like, more up to date updates, I guess, go over to Instagram and follow me. Um, the link will be in my description. Today, as you can hear, I'm sick. Jazz has been sick for a week and I, I don't know if Jacob's escaped it, but it is also school holidays, so we are home, stuck inside the house. I don't know what to do. So we're making pizzas. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Good job. Look at my pizzas. So I think more and more over the years, I've been able to learn a little bit more about little signs that I probably didn't observe before, but now can recognize them as something in Jacob. So for example, it is school holidays and Jacob is thrown. He doesn't like, especially because I had planned in the school holidays to every morning go out of the house to keep up that routine of getting out. Um, but I'm sick, so I can't get out of the house and um, he's been thrown. He's been hovering around the front door. He's been just like constantly tugging me, trying to get out of the house. We do have the backyard, but it's been raining also, so that's fun. One sign I know that Jacob is dysregulated is that he goes to the water. And it's not so much a sign, it's more of him trying to regulate himself, which I think is awesome. Um, however, it's a waste of water. So um, he's been playing with the taps all morning and I've tried to turn the water down as much as I can just so that there's only a little bit of water coming out. Um, however, I just recently purchased this and I saw a mum on Instagram, I'll post her here. Um, I saw her convert an Ikea kitchen into an actual working sink that recycles the water and I was like, I need this for Jacob because he loves taps, but we don't want to waste the water too much. So I love that he can recognize when he's dysregulated and work on that and use water therapy to help regulate himself, but also don't love the amount of water that he's wasting. It does prove that every behavior is a communication, whether it's what you would deem a good one or a bad one. Um, every single behavior has an unmet need behind it and it's not a child being bad. Okay, so I have this distinct feeling that Jacob knows exactly when his medication runs out and when it's a day that he's not at school, I sometimes forget, well I don't forget, but I always am late for his second medication because I don't usually give it to him, like on the weekdays he has it at school and so I don't have any reminders, I should probably put one in my phone but I don't. Um, but Jacob goes to the cupboard that the medication is in. He can't reach it by the way. Yeah. And he tells me by like tapping the door or to the medication, I'm like, yeah. you know. By the way, I got hosed while we were outside, that's why I'm all wet. <laughs> you knew exactly, didn't you? Oh, can't open it. So smart, huh? You, you reminded mommy. I was like 15 minutes late. The kids have brought out um, my old Barbies. Like, my mum kept everything of mine. These kids are not gonna have that because I am not that type of person. I'm a get rid of it kind of person. But my mum kept everything in little, there's little outfit bags and accessories. So there's 
brushes and everyone. I cannot believe it, but my mum gave it to Jazz. She's been holding it all these years and now she's brought it out to play with. But speaking of medication, I did want to update you guys. We went to go see, yes, he likes Kiri. We went to go see the pediatrician last week in Sydney, which Jacob wasn't a huge fan of. Actual session, like consultation. Um, I went into the city with him and we did take the pram, which was actually like a lifesaver in that situation. Um, Jacob was loving just sitting in the pram and like being in his own little safe. While I get this Barbie dress that the head's coming off of. How cute is this little dress? Um, while we were at the consultation, she did agree that Jacob <coughs> may need to go up a dose in his Ritalin. <laughs> That's for the baby born. Things are about to get wild. Um, so not only are we going to go up the Ritalin, we also are going to up his Clonidine as well for nighttime sleep. And hopefully we'll get an appointment for an ENT appointment um, to discover, to look into like the sleep apnea, ears, nose, throat kind of situation maybe that might be waking Jacob up at night time, I'm not sure. Last night was terrible. He woke up, he didn't go to sleep till midnight. <laughs> And then Jazz woke up. How are your kids going? Go comment da down below in the comments. How are you going? How are your kids going? Let's have some positivity. Let's share a win that you've had this week. Did you know, Jazzy, that some people don't have legs? You know, like this Barbie? Some people don't have legs. You've seen people in wheelchairs, haven't you? Yeah. Some people don't have legs or they need help to use their legs. Yeah. But and this <clears throat> And it's similar how um, some people don't have arms, or one arm, but that's okay, huh? Yeah, they need this arm. They just need a bit more help? No, but these eyes are cool. <gasps> yeah, she's got cool eyes. Do you know some people, some people's eyes, they don't work? Yeah. So if you close your eyes, some people can't, can't open their eyes. The doggies will know where they go. Where they go? Yeah. yeah. Go that way, or that way, or that way, or that way, or that way, and that way. The doggies tell them where to go. Did you mean that the doggies show them where to go because they can't see? Yeah. You are so smart. Don't people don't so see. Do you know some people don't hear with their ears? They can't hear anything. So when I say, Jazzy, some people, they wouldn't hear that. I can't hear that. Just like people's bodies are different, some people's brains are different. The way that they think. Like Jacob. Autistic. He's autistic. And what is autism? Autism. <laughs> Having a squeeze off. Squeeze! Jacob was doing it to her too. <laughs> Squeeze! <laughs> squeeze the squishy, squishy cheeks! You got squishy cheeks, that's why. And you've got squishy cheeks too! Ready?